Hi, and welcome to a new video series called Let Me Fix Your Image. For our first video of the series, my good friend Niels sent me an image from his wedding. Since I also attended the wedding party and really enjoyed that day, I didn't hesitate a second to create a stunning piece for him. Let's start. First, navigate to image-r.com slash enhance to increase the overall size, since I got the image over WhatsApp. Upload your image and choose a multiplier. I usually choose the factor 3 and the fast method. After it is finished, it will automatically download the result. Next, move back to the Image R main site and upload your enhanced image. I will slightly crop the image to get rid of any areas I do not need and get the people more in perspective. Now we can resize the image. On my 80 watt CO2 laser with a compound lens, I use 318 dpi. After we finish these general steps, Let's dive into the real preparation. First, I choose a material. In my case, cassia wood, since I engrave on birch plywood. Correct lighting and better shadows, especially since they both wear completely white, is very easy with the one-touch mode. Usually, I disable the denoise and sharpen function, especially for portraits. We can also give it a try with denoise and sharpen since I have a feeling it will look awesome for this image. Great! As you see, all patterns and details are way better visible. That's exactly what we need for a good engraving. Now, I will use the color correction from the advanced section to get rid of any very dark spots and regions. You can see that pretty well on the stair handle. That's basically it. Since there is so much white in the image, I won't do any gamma adjustment. Just download the image as a PNG and you're done. You can use the Preview on Material button to see how it will look. You can also, depending on the material choice before, display it on different types of wood like birch, alder, and many more. Let's open our laser software and import the prepared image. Don't get confused if it looks grainy. It's just a display error since your screen can't display that many DPI at once. If you zoom in or out, you will see that it is not grainy, and every single dot is visible and correct. For the cutting part, I draw a rectangle with the exact size of the image and place it in the page center so it's in the exact same position. These are my settings for birch plywood on my 80-watt CO2 laser. Also, keep in mind that I use a compound lens, if you use the stock lens, I recommend using a lower DPI, something around 195 to 212. Testing is key. The most important part is to activate the pass-through option. If not, it will completely mess up our preparation before. With perfect focus, alignment, and settings, you will get some awesome dark colors, but also a great amount of different brownish tones. This makes the image nearly look colored and is the reason why I really love engraving birch plywood. It turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm pretty sure they will love it. I hope you can also create some stunning engravings for any occasion by following my workflow. I wish you a lot of success, good luck, and happy engraving.